We are here at the, Mori, at the memorial where, uh, where so many people have been coming to pay their respects. It's been a steady stream of people as flags line the street here and the memorial right behind me. Uh, it, it's just been remarkable. An outpouring of love and support here is palpable. Sergeant Bill Hooser uh, was really well known here in the community, very active and deeply loved. He came to law enforcement late in life, just barely turned 50 years old and had only been on the force here in Santa Quin for 10 years, but he loved what he did, especially the detective work on cold cases. He was driven to protect and serve, and that was obvious to everybody around him. Becky Jackson works just across the street from police headquarters. I have a lot of kids and we've had a lot of dogs and lots of teenage drivers. So uh, yes, we've, we've known Officer Hoosier in that way as well. And we've laughed and joked a lot about that. He's a great officer. He's a family man. He understands things like that too. Me and Shane right here, are both veterans from the United States Army Welcome. and from the United States Marine Corps. And we understand the sacrifice that this gentleman made. We appreciate Sergeant Hoosier and what he did. And we understand the dangers of every day them guys going out there. So we wanted to come, the least we could do is hold a flag, stand out here for a little bit and show our respect. The, the shock of Sergeant Hoosier's passing is still reverberating around this community. Plans for his funeral are still being developed, as you might guess. We should know in the next few days when those will come about. But as I say here at this memorial, it has been in place since yesterday, and there is a steady stream of people coming to the memorial and paying their respects. In fact, one couple, former first responders themselves, transplants from California, drove down from Midway today. We spoke with them briefly here, and we'll hear from them on Fox 13 News Live at 5. But for now, in Santa Quin, at the memorial at police and uh, public safety headquarters, Bob Evans, Fox 13 News, Utah.